All right, welcome back to The Buzz, everybody. I'm your host, Chuck Leonard. Here with me now, Gary Galusha from the exciting world of fleet card sales. How's it going? Great, great, great. Dick, happy Friday. What, isn't it, what, how, what do you think about that band? Oh, awesome, awesome. I was just telling her, I said, these guys are awesome. I thought bands um, usually go to Nashville, but they came from Nashville to here. So I How lucky that are we? Awesome. Yeah. How lucky are we? Now, now, tell the people at home what you do. It's kind of interesting. Well, I... When I say fleet, I'm talking one vehicle or maybe five or 10 or 50, but um, we help lower fuel costs. And um, as you can see, the pumps right now, we got spoiled for a little bit. Now the fuel is heading back up. Do you so know why? There's a million reasons why. It's, it, well, because well, they said it was going to go up because of a bunch of taxes they were throwing on taxes it. Taxes is but part then of it. it. Then when the taxes came, they said, oh, they were ready for it. Everyone already adjusted for it. And, it, and that was true. The taxes were already in it when it was down. But then... Um, you know, there's refine every time somebody is going to repair a refinery, fuel goes up. Um, sometimes every time our president talks, fuel goes up for some reason. Um, and then, of course, right now we're switching to what's called a summer blend because our summer is getting here a lot faster. There's and a so, different kind of gas that we yeah, buy in the summer? The shirt, well, it's refine there's more refining because of the air. And that costs more, more work. Mm -hmm. So, But we kind of try to help take the sting out of that because when um, rising prices of fuel... Um, it hurts businesses' bottom lines. You know, they don't raise their prices, you know, so if they got a delivery truck and they're delivering stuff, when gas goes up, their profit goes down. Um, but a lot of things um, affect profit. Um, employees taking, you know, taking a fuel card and buying sodas or things like that. Um, a lot of taxes involved, and that's kind of what I want to talk about, like the tax issue on there today. But um, we, we do a fuel card that where they can monitor. So if you have... If you've got some vans working for you, the minute the employee swipes the card, you're going to get an email. It tells you where the employee is, what he's doing. They have to put in the odometer, and that keeps them from cheating. So when they're putting in the odometer, they're putting in their personal ID, what that will do is it'll create fuel economy on your invoice. So if somebody was to fill up a five-gallon can, and I challenge all of you, when you go to a gas station, watch how many business trucks are out there with an employee filling up a five-gallon can. That five-gallon can really? is probably going at home at lunch. You know, five gallons here, five, that's hundreds and thousands of dollars over the life of a, of a business. So, so employees are ca carrying around gas cans in their cars oh, yeah, just like, so they can take, fill it up with the company gas card, and take that home, run their right. lawnmower, pour it in their car maybe? Right. And then the brave ones have their wife or girlfriend meet them down at the pump and they fill up the truck <laughs> and they fill up the car. Happens every day. <laughs> so what we do by, monitor, by monitoring and then putting it in the odometer, we create, say, the vehicle's getting 16 miles a gallon. And then if they were to fill up another car, obviously it's going to drop, and it sends a red flag to our customer letting them know that, hey, you know, somebody's doing something. So we can, all the way down to a five-gallon can, we can catch somebody stealing. But what's really neat is, obviously, if you've got a vehicle that holds 30 gallons, and um, they swipe their card and they pump 40, <laughs> you're going to get an email. It's going, wait a minute, they just pump 40? Or why are they buying diesel? They're driving a gas car. And we catch people almost every day. Um, our last uh, small dairy uh, was uh, eighteen hundred dollars on New Year's Eve gas car gas card theft. So um, were they trying to help out the company and buy it before the prices? Yeah, they were went actually up? found somebody that was in on it um, at the gas station, and they were selling beer and sodas, and I think it was like eighteen, oh, so had a 18, party on 18 it. car washes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So anyway, we help we help prevent that. Um, the hardest thing is when, well, when well, how, how many of these places do you have? Because um, you know sometimes when you need gas, you need yeah, gas. I have fifty thousand sites, over fifty thousand. I work off a network, so Chevron, Arco, Texaco, oh, so Valero. It's, it's not those fleet card only places. No, no, no. I've opened mine up, which is what's called fleet wide, because that was a pain because you're always driving around looking right. for a fleet card place. So we've opened up the to network. me. They look scary too. Yeah, they can be. No lights, no bathrooms, right, no, no employees. Yeah. <laughs> But, um, yeah, with ours, um, 50,000 sites, you know, and you can go to our website, www.fleetfirstfuels. You can download our app or look at the locator in your area with the zip code. But um, I want to kind of change. One of the things that's happening right now is taxes, so much taxes on gas. And we have a lot of landscaping companies. And one of the things that's in our fuel is $0.36 cents a gallon, roughly, on road tax. So that's what we pay to use our roads. But when you're a landscaper and you got your trailer and you're filling up all your mowers and your blowers, you're paying road tax for vehicles, for those equipment. So Wait a minute, doesn't your registration, isn't that supposed to pay for the roads? It's supposed to. <laughs> so they're, they're, they're double dipping, getting oh, us on the uh, Yeah, on I think the they get us on everything. Too? They get us on everything. Okay. 
So what we've done is we've created a special fuel card for all of our landscapers out there. And by using our system, they can use this card for their mowers and blowers, and at the end of the year they can file back and get that tax money back. Oh, that's cool. And that really helps it because all our businesses are struggling. What kind of money would that be? Well, it depends how big the business is, but $0.36 cents a gallon adds up. Right. And mowers and blowers are not the most efficient <laughs> fuel economy. You know, if you've got a large organization, it could, it could be thousands of dollars. But even if you're a small guy, I mean, who wants to get back 300 bucks sure. at the end of the year? Right. 300 bucks at 300 bucks right. from the government anyway. It's a nice check. All right. So you, you, any size business can use you? Yes, one van because an employee can steal in one van as long as he's got a gas card. Stop giving him cash. Stop giving him credit cards. You're just setting yourself up. Tell him how to get a hold of you. Hey, you can reach me at 1-800-400-5690. Or get me on the internet, www.fleetfirstfuels.com, or just Google Fleet First Fuels and we come up. And uh, we have a great new app for finding a gas station. You put the button in on your phone, iPhone or Droid, and it takes you right to the station. Can anybody use that? Yeah, I, I'd hook you up with that. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gary Galusha, thanks for being a sponsor of The Buzz. I really appreciate it. Thank you so you. much. Thank All you. Right. We're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back to the second hour of The Buzz, stick around.